All right, let's check this out. Love your little meat piece there already. It's awesome. Uh, you mentioned a feat. Um, yeah, I can kind of see it. I mean, what I would do is, it feels almost a bit too evenly spread out. You could potentially have um, the pinky guy a bit closer to here. And then as he puts his foot down, imagine right now it feels like the, uh, the foot without the toes is coming down fairly straight. And then, you know, the toes would be here. Imagine that the foot comes down like that. Then you can also have, you know, the toes will be a bit offset in the height. And then as it comes down, spread out and everything. It will help you have kind of a, you know, the feet are not flat like this, but more like that. So they can kind of tilt over as they go down. And then probably like one of them could spread out a bit faster than the other. So it's not so evenly timed. Boom. I love that. That's great. Boom. On the hips. Ripples forward. There's something weird on the hands. There's something where they suddenly shoot down and then up, but it feels like there's overall momentum going backwards this way. But the, uh, this guy feels like it's going like that. He has that little um, right here. See, it goes back, 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 stop, and then up with a bit to the left. I knew it. Or just mostly, or straight up. But it's it doesn't continue that arc to the right. And it feels a bit late too. Boom! Like to me. Boom. If if that's a reaction to this, if it was really really late, like I wouldn't ripple through that so slowly. It can happen just a bit earlier. Um, let's watch this here. Head is great otherwise. Looks good. You know, something you can always do is boom, and after that you have a little claw, you know, that goes from being, you know, flat like this into that's the foot, right, to a moment of of a curl and then back into a straight where it's kind of clawing back and then forward. Just kind of readjust its grip if you want to add some some business to it and some contrast. Tail's great too. I love all this. It's really cool. Let's watch this past the tree. Yeah, it's great. You know, one of the laziest feedback sessions ever. All I'm saying is great. And it's a cool arc. Good the grip again. What you could do is, as he goes back, it's quite a move back, right? And then you get to this moment of... Uh, you know, imagine like the root goes from here to here. I'm exaggerating. Right? I'm doing all that stuff, but the foot stays planted a lot. I'm not saying that you got to take another step, but as it goes back, there could be a moment where it could be kind of a. You got to look where your your uh, weight distribution is, is. But imagine that flat foot will kind of tilt sideways over, which will bring the furthest away toe up a bit. A little slight curl there, and then as you go down, see on this again. It feels like there's going to be a lot more pressure uh, on this guy, so those toes can flatten a bit, a bit more. And this guy, because there's more now evenly spread out, they will flatten again and flatten out on the back side of the foot. That you could do just for a bit more variation there. And then let's cut this here. Hold on. And cut. Great. I love how he comes in. It's good with the toe there. It's awesome how he stays. Transformers. It's cool. I love your arc. Cool. I think the tail's fine. I know what you mean. But I think it's fine. I think it has a really nice movement right now. Uh, good curl. And then you can back mark, you know, it goes maybe downhill and it's kind of behind that part of the hill. There. Step there, that's cool. Who's down? Think about that. Coming down here. My picky argument would be to bring this down earlier. Which is a trick, maybe. I don't know if this is this already hitting or is this, this is hitting only now and this here it's not. 
I feel like the super picky, but when I was first watching it, I felt like that step here was too soft. So it's almost here should be already on the ground, and then you can always slide forward a bit. But it felt like you could have a bang, like that harsh bang, drop step here. So for a push off, it's not quite there. Let's see how it's. It feels like now it's on the ground with a. Well, not really. Now it's on the ground, and then it's already moving forward. And it feels like it's not on the ground enough for a push off. Even this guy is here and it goes, feels like it's intersecting and going forward. Here it's nice. By that. That would be my picky note to get this guy. It doesn't feel like he's here and then it's way be below my mouse cursor here. So I wouldn't make this guy slide as much, but then this guy you could have hit low with the shadowing, right? Really low and then kind of slide forward, but. If that's a pain because of the reach, I understand. Then I would just make sure that from here to here it doesn't look like it's dropping down. So that's just more of a solid contact and a slap down. That's it though. It's super, super cool. You're pretty much done. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.